there, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my plan to become a millionaire. I'll share my strategy and why I chose it and overall how I'm planning to accomplish this on a relatively low salary. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, then just keep watching. So let me say at the top that I believe that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Whether you believe you can or you can't do something, you're usually right. Especially when it comes to building wealth and specifically to becoming a millionaire. I believe that where there's a will, there's a way and you can make a plan to accomplish almost any financial goal that you set your mind to. So that said, I don't believe that a low income is a barrier to building wealth at all. I've mentioned before that my income is on the lower side relative to where I live. I live in the New York City metro area and there's a fairly high cost of living. That said, I believe that I can do absolutely anything I set my mind to and that includes becoming a millionaire. So here's my story and my strategy and why I chose this strategy relative to my story and my background. I didn't grow up in a wealthy family at all. I don't come from money. I say this just to say that the background I came from was very loving and encouraging, but it didn't necessarily give me a, the greatest example when it came to dealing with money. I was taught to save money, to spend money, and to give money. However, I wasn't necessarily taught how to make money or to build wealth. This is something I chose to learn completely on my own. Again, I go back to the idea that if you put your mind to it and make a plan, you can accomplish just about anything you set your sights on. So here is my plan to becoming a millionaire. This is my strategy and I'll let you know why I chose this strategy. I also wanna say that there's an old saying that goes, we plan and God laughs. So I am fully aware that life happens sometimes. Life might intervene and change my timeline or ask me to adjust my expectations or my strategy. And I am completely open to doing that. I want to remain focused yet flexible on my goals. I generally believe that the simplest strategies tend to work the best, especially for me. My strategy to becoming a millionaire is simply to max out contributions to tax advantaged accounts. So that would be my 401k and my Roth IRA. That's it. It will take me approximately 15 years at max contribution to achieve millionaire status. And by that, I mean a million dollars in the bank, not a million dollars in revenue, a million dollars socked away in the bank. Again, very simple. This is an approach that has really worked for me in the past. I just set it and forget it. And I just checked my 401k account this morning. Year to date for this year, I've achieved an 18.62% return and I'm pretty happy with that. Now I realize that we are in a boom cycle, so I won't expect this for every year, but it's looking pretty darn good for this year. Based on my calculations, I am assuming roughly an 8% overall average return for all of those 15 years. If the markets average 10 to 11 to 12% over the years, then an 8% return is a very conservative and healthy estimate. So that's step one in my overall plan to become a millionaire, very simple. Just take advantage of the tax advantaged accounts that are already available to me. So that's step one. Step two is to focus on building my online business up to the point where I'm making at least a thousand dollars in revenue free and clear. So that's where I've been pouring the majority of my active attention aside from my day job. That is my side business hustle and I am hustling my butt away on that hustle to get that up and running. My timeline for achieving that thousand dollar a month revenue point is roughly 24 months. Based on some of the examples that I've seen and the people that I follow and watch, I can estimate that I'll get there in about 24 months. This is also very much in line with what I do on the day-to-day. -day. Um, this is what I do in my day job. So this is a business that I'm fairly familiar with. And I know that this revenue goal is achievable for me. And it also fits with my lifestyle. I really value time and location freedom. I value being able to work from the comfort of my own home. I value being able to work on my own schedule and to set my own hours and really being in charge of most of the work. So again, my second step in the plan to become a millionaire is to get my online business to the point where it's making at least $1,000 in revenue per month. And the estimated timeline for that is about 24 months. So step three beyond that, once I have my thousand dollars a month coming in from an online business that I can run entirely online, location independent, and use whatever subcontractors I need that are also location independent. Once I have that thousand dollars revenue coming in, I plan to use that revenue exclusively to build additional investments. That's investing in assets that make me money, put money into my bank account. 
So from that point, my plan is to invest in real estate. And the reason I'm choosing to put a location independent online business before real estate is kind of threefold. Number one, it's a business that I'm fairly familiar with. I have experience with this business. I know people in this business that I can reach out to and ask questions of. Number one is I'm comfortable with this business. I Reason number one is I'm fairly familiar with this business. Reason number two is I'm comfortable with the level of risk involved in this business. It doesn't require any investment at all and I don't need to tie up extra cash in this business. And reason number three is that it's just very portable and I'm able to move it to wherever I am. So once I have this online business, location independent, established and generating revenue, my plan is to take that revenue and again invest it into real estate. So at about $1,000 a month, I estimate that I'll have enough for a down payment on a modest rental property in about 12 to 14 months. Again, timeline is subject to change completely, but this is just my approximate timeline that I'm setting out with. Real estate is an area of investment that I've always been interested in and interested in learning more about. Although I have to admit that the level of risk is something that gives me pause. I know that the majority of first generation millionaires hold a significant portion of their wealth in real estate as opposed to stocks and other business ventures, yet I'm still a little bit, I want to say, cautious about putting an investment of my own into real estate. This is something that I'm going to get over and I fully plan to overcome. At this point, however, because my, I guess, investment investment capital is so low and I am still in the wealth building process, this is something that I am going to give a little more time to learn more about and educate myself. All that to say that I'm preparing myself to jump into the real estate market and I am fully excited to be in the market um, and I can't wait to get started when it comes to real estate. For me, this is a good, um, I want to say two to three years down the road conservatively. And again, anything could happen. So I want to be optimistic yet realistic when it comes to investing in real estate. I know I've gotten some very good uh, investment advice lately. I want to point out Maskey Finance's channel, so I recommend you check out his channel if you haven't already. So once I have a business generating revenue in the background, then my plan is to take that revenue to acquire real estate to generate additional revenue. All of that on top of my tax advantaged accounts that I plan to continue stocking away savings into. All of this comes together as my full three-part strategy to become a millionaire. Once more, the approximate timeline is about 15 years, give or take, and I'm fully aware that life may intervene and ask that I change this timeline. I'm okay with that. I aim to remain focused but flexible in my approach and have that overall goal of financial freedom in mind. So there you have it. That is my plan to become a millionaire. I hope this has been helpful. I thank everyone that has been leaving comments along the way. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a plan to be a millionaire. And if you would please, please like this video. It is a huge help to me and my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.